In this video, Jack is investigating whether a spinner is fair. The spinner has five sections labelled 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. He spins the spinner 100 times with the following results. Carry out a chi-squared test at the 5% significance level to investigate whether the spinner is fair. Okay, so we've got our outcomes and these are the observed frequencies. So let's label them FO. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 28, 13, 10, 19, 30. OK, so the expected frequency, uh, if we're spinning the spin 100 times and there are five sections, then we would expect each of them to be 20. OK, so then um, we need to do FO take away FE squared over FE. So 28 take away 20 squared over 20 and we get 3.2. OK, so then Um, let's change that to 13, so 2.45, let's change it to 10, get 5, to 19, we get 0 0.05, and to 30, we get 5. Okay, so... The sum of those, 3.2 plus 2.45 plus 5 plus 0 0.05 plus 5, and we get 15.7. Okay, so now the test. So the null hypothesis would be that the spinner is fair. Now, you could write that as probability uh, is equal to one-fifth for each outcome, like we did previously, if you like. For, for each outcome. I can't spell today. Uh, outcome. Here we go. Right, H1. The spinner is not fair. Okay, so probability is not equal to one-fifth for each outcome. Okay, so um, number of degrees of freedom will be four. So we've got five uh, in our table, so take one will be four. So New is equal to 4. The 5% significance level critical value. OK, so go to page 13 of the OCR MEI formula booklet. Um, right, 5% significance level. New is 4, so that'd be 9.488. So 9.488. Now our value is clearly greater than that. So 15.7 is greater than 9.488. So the result is significant. So reject H0. There is evidence to suggest that the spinner is not fair.